she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen.
bad news, I'm afraid. Uh, we don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No power, no portrait. Oh, Madam Carlyle will be... Here. So, Madam Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. Maria, uh, she expects the family photo to be done any moment now. I need this shoot to happen, okay? And I need it to be perfect. Damn. I guess we could do that. Sure. I'll Got a possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. Not in the mood for playing games here. So annoying. Sounds like the power's back up. Why don't you take a picture to test it? It works. I'm ready for the shoot. Perfect. I'll call the family down now then. Excellent, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way down for the family photo shoot. Let's see if any memorable moments will play out in front of the camera. It's just in front of the fountain. Hi, good afternoon. Edward, you can't let Mother get to you like this. You've always been immune to her. How do you do it? I'm the youngest. Guess I just flew under the radar when it came to her attention. I don't think so. She really respects you. If you just stopped craving her approval, you're nearly 50, Edward. I know. I'm such a loser. But you're not. You're a professor, I you're artistic, you. you've got your music. I mean, that's really something. It's not exactly expanding the Carlisle Empire, though. But thanks. That does help a little.
Stand by I camp. expect you to be efficient. I have a lot to see to today. I'll do my best. Listen, everyone. I understand that you have a lot of questions. Please be patient for a little longer. I will address you in the sitting room afterwards. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. There's a puddle of water here. Oh, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nervous wreck. Stop bickering. Well, Mother, you certainly know how to lighten the mood. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. stories. I, I should, should probably <laughs> let you get back to Right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Serve with pride. Mission complete. Well done, 47. A safe in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards.
47. Don't respond, just listen. Diana can't help you now. You need to find Olivia. She will know what to do. <laughs> I wish there had been more time. And then there were none. Thank you, Miss Burnwood. Now, it's my turn. Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. <laughs>